We all struggle with selfishness from time to time. So these points will be important for everybody here tonight. Number one, we must surrender to God's plan for our lives. Have you surrendered yourself to God's plan for your life? Have you ever noticed that God never reveals all the details about his plan for our lives? <laughs> He'll tell you one step to take, but he doesn't tell you all the steps that you're going to take. He, he reveals his plan to us a day at a time. And God does not have to give us all the information, right? Because he's God. When God spoke to my heart about preaching uh, and surrendering to the call of being a preacher, I had no idea all that that would mean for my future. <laughs> I had no idea that that would mean that I would attend a Bible college at Tennessee Temple University. I had no idea that that would mean that I would meet Rachel there while I was a student in Bible college. I didn't know that later I would pastor Stanley Heights Baptist Church in East Ridge, Tennessee. I didn't know that after being there for eight years that I would end up here in Canton, Ohio. I didn't know any of those details. But what I did know was that God had called me to preach and I needed to surrender myself to that calling upon my life. Amen. There was no doubt in my mind that, that I had heard the voice of God calling me to surrender myself to be a preacher. And in the same way that Jacob did not know everything that God had in store for him, neither will you and neither will me. What we have to do is surrender ourselves to what he is asking us to do today. And tomorrow we get up with that same conviction. Tomorrow I want to do God's plan and God's will for my life. As Christians, we need to understand that God does have a plan and a purpose for our lives. Now, I don't know what that plan is for you. I, I, don't, uh, I don't know that plan. I don't even try to play God in people's lives. We can't do that. But I can say with authority, biblical authority tonight, God does have a plan and a purpose for your life. I don't know what that is. But you have to surrender yourself to what God wants for your life. God didn't save us so that we would just live our lives to please ourselves. We have to learn as well that life is not all about us. Life is all about God. Right? Have you come to that conclusion in your life? Have you come to that place of spiritual maturity in your life where life is not all about you? But it's about God. It's about God's plan and God's will for our lives. He wants us to not only be saved people, but he wants us to be surrendered people. The most miserable people in the world are people who are here, but they don't know why they are here. You ever met people like that? They exist, but they don't know why they exist. But I want you to know that God created you and God redeemed you because he has a plan and he has a purpose for your life. Tonight, if you're saved, then you need to be a surrendered Christian. When you have God in your life, you have meaning in your life. All of us have no idea how much time we have left here on planet earth, right? None of us know that. Uh, that's why our prayer should always be Psalm 90 verse 12. So teach us to number our days that we may apply our hearts unto wisdom. We need to understand that time could be short. We don't know how much longer we have to live. And when someone asks us, what do you want to do with the rest of your life? Our answer should always be, I want to fulfill God's plan for my life.